Hi, and welcome to another installment of Hey, what do you know? My name is Kathy Church. I'm a programming coordinator with the Wildlife Resources Division, and today's topic is vultures. Now, vultures are very misunderstood animals. Most people around here call them buzzards, but buzzard actually refers to a group of birds called the Buteo group, and that includes hawks like red-tailed hawks and red-shouldered hawks. So a hawk is a buzzard, but a buzzard is just a vulture. And in Northeast Georgia, we have two species of vultures. We have the black vulture and the turkey vulture. And they're actually really easy to tell apart. If you see them on the ground, black vultures got a black head, turkey vultures got a red head. If you see them flying, it's just as easy because the black vulture's got a short little tail and he's only got white on the tips of his wings. But a turkey vulture's got a longer tail and he's got white all the way out to the tips of those wings. But most people think that vultures are kind of creepy or gross. And there are some gross things that they do. For example, turkey vultures and black vultures, they don't have feathers on their head. And that's so that when they're eating dead things, they don't get bits all stuck up in there. Yeah. But it's also a great way for them to thermoregulate or control their body temperature. By not having feathers, it helps them to actually cool off from their head. And another way that they can do that is they can take those six foot wings and spread them out big and wide. And it may look like they're looming over you, but they're not. <laughs> they're actually just either warming up or drying their wings or even baking the bacteria off of them. The sun helps to kill any bacteria on their feathers, so it helps them to get clean. But probably the grossest way that they thermoregulate is what we call urohydrosis. It's just a fancy way of saying going potty on your legs because when it evaporates, it actually helps to cool their body down. But that's not the bodily fluid they're best known for. Vultures are known to regurgitate their food when they're frightened. It helps to distract a predator, but it also helps to make them lighter so that they can take off and fly away. So I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to have this animal anywhere around? Well, imagine what the world would be like if you didn't have scavengers. And this guy is a scavenger. He's cleaning up dead things all over the place. The turkey vulture actually has the largest olfactory system of any bird. That means this guy can actually smell a dead thing from over a mile away. Now, black vultures can't. So black vultures are quite often seen following turkey vultures to food. We also see them flying a lot. These guys are expert gliders. But when they fly, they're often seen flying in a circle, what we call a kettle of vultures. When they fly in that circle, they're actually not doing it for why you think. They're not telling other vultures about dead things. They're actually telling other birds about thermals, warm air that rises up from the ground that allows these guys to glide and save energy. These guys, when we say good gliders, good flyers, they are actually known to fly at 20,000 feet. Pilots have seen them up that high. They are also experts at swooping to avoid other birds. They can swoop at upwards of 60 miles per hour. But the one thing they can't do is they can't talk. They don't have a syrinx, so they can't actually tell other birds about those thermals. They fly in circles to let them know that's what they do. But if they do find a dead thing, they get down there and they eat absolutely everything except the bones. And that includes bacteria that can be deadly to humans, like botulinum toxin or anthrax. So, hey, what do you know? A buzzard's not a buzzard. He's actually a vulture. He's got some really questionable hygiene issues. He may throw up on you if you scare him, but he gets rid of deadly bacteria and he cleans up your whole entire world. So, hey, who knew? Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit of something you didn't know and keep an eye out for more. Hey, what do you know?